Howdy, everybody. I'm doing a recorded video here, and I'm going to apply Gather, and I'm gonna apply it to a stovetop cover that we're making. So I'm going to take out my brand new transfer. Here's all the goodies that come into the the sleeve of the transfer and it gives you step-by-step -step instruction on how to use the transfer <clears throat> so I need to write first <clears throat> which backing is which or which transfer is which so this one is gather and this one is grateful And I just use the permanent marker. And then I'm going to cut it on the designated lines that Chocotour gives us. So this stovetop cover <clears throat> was made last week and then we stained it and we waxed it with a wax and I let that cure for about three or four days and then once I waxed it, I went ahead and let that cure and then wiped it off with, and this is the clear wax that I used. And the reason why I waxed it is to protect my transfer once I apply it down on the surface so that none of the wood or the stain comes up on the back of my transfer. So, we will go ahead and get this fuzzed up. And the reason why I want to fuzz my transfer is so that I um, am able to easily peel it up, especially on a non chocotour transfer. So the best way to protect your transfer is to uh, fuzz it really good. And I'm flipping it over and just peeling the, the backing off of it because it is brand new and I don't want it to stick it together by accident. You can put it in a cool bath of water quickly and have, and then gently pull it apart, but this just makes it so that I'm taking care of it and that I want to get the longevity out of my transfers because they can be used anywhere from eight to 12 times and more if you take care of it. All right, so we're gonna fuzz it again. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. And I'm gonna eyeball it to make sure that it's mostly centered on my board. And then I'm just gonna go in and make sure that I don't have any air bubbles where my screen is at so that when I apply my paste, it doesn't bleed through. And then I'm gonna take this squeegee. Oh. So I may have I may have fuzzed it a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is It is not as sticky as I want it. So what I'm gonna do, see how easy that came up? I am going to take a disinfecting wipe and it can be any sort of disinfecting wipe. And I'm just going to wipe it over my transfer. And what that does is that is basically reactivating the stickiness of my transfer so I can reuse it over and over again. We're gonna let that dry quickly here. 
You don't ever want to take a blow dryer to your transfer because then that would basically hurt the integrity of it and it won't work as well. So I'm just it's getting closer to being dry. Because yeah, I want since this is non chocolateur, I want this to stick good. Okay. So we will lay it back down. Center it the best that we can. Just push this top good. Make sure it's sticky. Sorry for the barking dogs. They are having a blast in the snow. Okay, yeah, this is sticking way better. and I haven't used it for a, a day or so. Ro actually, Robbie used it yesterday. And I wanna stir it really good because it has natural pigments in it and I just wanna make sure that all the colors get mixed together good. And this is a multi-tool. It has a nice little tiny squeegee on it. Uh, on the bottom and then, on, and then this side has a curved corner and that's great for getting in the, the crevices, if you will. I'm just gonna um, smoosh it over the top. Get all my excess off. Mesa, okay. To the side take my big squeegee here pull it all over the screen like this and I want to make sure I don't have any lines because when I pull up my transfer the lines um, will show. I need this little bit right here. Mesa! We can take the excess just like this, put it back in the draw jar because a little paste goes a long way. Isn't that groovy? Super awesome. Then I'm just gonna throw that in my sink. I want to get this off of the side. So I'm just gonna use one of my little brand new mixing tools with Chocotour, put that to the side. And then I'm going to pull my transfer for a reveal, peel and reveal. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Whoo, that looks awesome. Awesome, awesome. So if you guys see this video and you like it, share it. Uh, I've been doing Chocotour since October 1st. Love it, I've turned it into a business because I can make things and share them with other people. Um, if you aren't working with a current designer and you would like to be part of my VIP group where I offer specials and ideas, go ahead and comment VIP and I will get you added to my VIP group. If you um, like what you saw tonight and you think, gosh, I can do that too, uh, I would love to have you join my team. 
So comment, like, and share. I am, I do have a drawing going for all my likes and shares, um, just to get people in the, the realm of chocotour. So I'm gonna just move this to the side. And I want to show you how easy it is to clean this transfer so that I can reuse it. Just gonna take my towel and lay it to the side. I have a chalkboard eraser in here. So this is the, um, the bath of water that I generally always use, or I use my sink sometimes, just depending on how much I'm doing with Chalk Tour. So then I'm just gonna pull that side up, put that in the water, and I'm using a board eraser. And what this is doing is it's just pulling all the fuzzies off that I applied earlier. And then I'm gonna turn it over. And this is the side that we put the paste on and just gently rub it. And what it's doing is it's pulling all the chalk paste out of the screen so that I can let it dry naturally and reuse it. Isn't that cool? And then what I do then is I lay it flat to dry. And then again, I use a disinfecting wipe on the back of it to reactivate the stickiness for my next project. But with Chocotour paste and ink, you're able to utilize um, any type of surface that you want, glass, fabric, um, you can do trucker caps, you can do shirts, you can do wood surfaces, you can apply paste or ink on chalkboards, and use your transfers over and over again. So there is how I dry it. And then I take that disinfecting wipe. It can be any type of disinfecting wipe. I just use these because I can buy these in bulk from Sam's Club. And there we go. Voila. Again, if you like this video, comment, like, and share. I appreciate all of you taking time out of your evening to, to watch this fun craft. And we will see you again soon.